Hi, Aquarius. Welcome to a timeless love reading. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus and any cross watchers, welcome. Let's see what's next in love, what loving energy, loving messages spirit has for you today. I have a family. I want a family. I want to be a collective family. I want you in my life. You make me feel like a family. Let's see what else they're saying. I have expect a text message. Somebody wants to communicate with you. Somebody's getting ready to reach out to you. Somebody wants to talk. Spirit just said, okay, what do we have to talk about? Let's see what we have to talk about. This is a spiritual awakening. Um, this just came into me as I feel like you've been brought into my life for a reason. That um, it was almost this feeling of, um, I know this is bigger than both of us, okay? Like, I know that you were brought in my life for a reason, and I'm just trying to figure out the purpose, and um, and it's becoming clearer to you, and that that's that's nice, because I want to see it clearly, and I want to understand it, is how it's coming into me. There's an incredible magnetic attraction between the two of you, very great chemistry, um, I really like this, you know, like maybe even from the moment they saw you, um, that I am interested in you. I want you. I'm excited about this connection spirit just said. Um, so, you know, we've got somebody that is, um, I guess, thrilled to meet you and get to know you and a little bit of, I can't get enough of you. And am I obsessing over you at this point? <laughs> Something's going on. Am I taking a risk with this person? Is this magnetic attraction scaring you? Hmm. You know, it's almost a, um, I don't want to say too good to be true, but the chemistry or the, uh, chemi the, um, the uh, yeah, the chemistry, I guess, is so intense that I guess it's making you question, you know, is this just a physical connection or is this going to be something so much more? Am I risking? Am I risking it all? Am I risking my heart? Um, I don't think so. I really don't. I feel more along the lines of take a chance. OK, roll the dice, leap of faith. Um Sometimes we have to try. We can't be afraid to, to get hurt. We, If we don't try, then we miss out on all the good stuff too. Um, but I do feel like because it's so intense or so exciting and spirit saying that it's, um, it's not how you normally feel is how spirit just said it to me. So maybe that's scaring you or that has been upsetting you. And, and spirit just said, you know, just kind of calm down and uh, take it one day at a time and just kind of enjoy this energy. But they understand that this isn't something that you're used to um, and they can see where the fear is coming from. OK, but they, they just said now that if there's nothing to be afraid of, you know, like they're they're putting somebody in your life that um, you can be really happy with and, and they want you to be happy They're Yeah, you're afraid of a heartbreak. OK, uh, your person's afraid of a heartbreak, too. Um, but I, I think it's bigger than that. I really do. I really feel like it's more of a spiritual connection. OK, I really feel like um, maybe emotionally I've never not even just the physical connection. But maybe the emotional connection is so intimate that it just I feel like it's just, you know, in my soul and that I'm struggling with. I've never felt this way before. And it really scaring me. It's it's um, but spirit keeps saying there's nothing to be scared of. <laughs> there's nothing to be scared of. They, they want you to love. They want you to love. They want you to be loved. Let's see what the cards are saying. Let's see what they want for you. Um, I have a queen of swords. It's all in your head. <laughs> you, you know, what's you know, what's right in front of you. OK, you know how to make a good decision. You know, the good, you know, good from bad, you know, um, you know, what what doesn't work and what works. And part of me feels like spirits is reminding you that, you know, you do have a choice and that you do make a, get a chance to make up your mind. You're stronger than you think you are, okay? So even when this fear comes in, it's like you take a step back and say, I know that's in my head. <laughs> I know that that's just fear. I know that this person's being good to me and we are falling in love and I should be enjoying it and I should be grateful and I should feel blessed. But 
Um, but I, I can't help myself. <laughs> I can't help myself because I've always been hurt. I keep getting hurt by people. So we have to sometimes, again, roll the dice and take the chance. And I feel like they are letting you know that maybe this is the one time that it's worth the risk. It's worth the risk. Um, I got a queen of cups. Uh, I'm going to say it's worth the risk of where's my rolling the dice. Hold on. Um, I think it's worth. Am I risking my heart is really what you're asking. OK, you're risking your heart and they're risking their heart. OK, I still want you to do it. I still want you to do it, even when it's you feel like we're we all risk. I mean, I don't know anybody who goes into a relationship who isn't taking that leap of faith, who isn't taking that. I have the potential to be hurt. It's going to go one of two ways. So but we have faith in spirit that not every relationship is going to hurt us. And that's what they want you to believe in today. They want you to take that risk with your own heart. And they want you to trust this other person and they want you to, to, I guess, take the chance on this other person. So something is definitely going on. I have a four of cups. Like, don't hold back. All right. Don't hold back your feelings. Don't hold back how you feel for this person. Don't hold back um, that you want to tell them that you care about them because you're not sure what they're going to say in return. Um, it, it's very much a feeling of why am I holding back? I'm hold I'm I'm not I'm missing out of the joy. I'm missing out on the journey. I'm missing out of the on what's in front of me today. Okay. So they don't want you to hold back. It is definitely a, a message. Okay. And I have a three of swords. Yeah, it just keeps coming back to me of, you know, I'm just afraid to be hurt. Okay. Here's my heartbreak. I'm just afraid to be hurt. Okay. Three of swords, heartbreak. I, we have to override this today, okay? We have to. We have to put it in, in its place. <laughs> we're going to put it in the fear bucket, and we're going to acknowledge it, and we're going to say, we know who you are. We know what you are, um, but we're over here. We're over here falling in love, and we're going to enjoy this, <laughs> and we're not going to let you take this away from us, okay? Because fear can paralyze you. I have a six of wands. This person wants to be in your life. They want to capture you. They want to celebrate this love. They want to show you off, Spirit just said, all right? You, it's almost a feeling of like, you're the best thing that's happened to me. And I, I want everybody to know about us. So this is not a secret. <laughs> this is, if this has been a secret in any way, shape or form, um, this is no longer a secret. Okay. They have nothing to hide. They don't want to hold back. They want everybody to know that we're in a connection. So you could be going to the next level. You could be, be exclusive. You could be um, that we start to identify with each other as a significant other or um, whatever, you know, what, however you guys want to refer to each other. But I feel like this person's ready to kind of announce it to the world um, that I want to be with you. I, I think that's going on. Silence. I don't want to talk to you right now because I don't know what to say. Now, who's holding back? I, I feel like somebody's holding back in this connection. It could be you or it could be them, but I feel like they want to celebrate. And maybe you are just holding on to the fear. OK, you're holding on to I felt like this before with so and so. And um, look at what happened. OK, but this isn't so and so. OK, this is somebody new. It's new energy, a new whole new person, a whole different person. And you've got to give this person the opportunity to be with you. OK, you can't blame somebody else's actions on somebody who's in front of you now. OK, so maybe that's something that's going on. I'm still checking you. I'm still checking on you on social media. I just can't seem to let you go. I'm obsessed with you. There could be somebody in your past that that is still thinking about you. And, and maybe that's always, you know, in the background. But I don't feel like anybody's going back. I don't think this person's going back. You're not going back. Um, I feel like we just need to focus on let's move forward. Let's just keep moving forward. I want the best, Spirit just said. I want the best for you. I love you so much, but I keep running from you and I don't understand why I do this. So you could have somebody that's having a, that's struggling with, um, I really don't want to be hurt. And that's usually why we have a runner. We usually have a runner when 
I'm realizing I have feelings for you and my life is going to change. And that's when they freak out and they go, I don't know if I'm ready for this. I don't know if I can do this. And they say things like, I need a little time to think about it. Um, I need to slow this down. And, but at the same token, they're falling in love with you and they're trying to figure out their feelings for you. So um, it, it is a little confusing kind of in that transition part, but um, it's okay. You're going to be okay. You are so attractive and it's driving me insane. You spark the fire deep inside of me. So there, there's even the fear of I'm so attracted to you that I've never been this attracted to anybody. I've never wanted anybody the way I want you, something like that. And then I have, I've never loved anyone the way that I love you. So I do feel that, you know, um, where's my spiritual awakening? You know, when we start to fall in love and we are realizing that this is, this is great. This is a soul connection. This is somebody I want to be with. Um, Spirit just said, I'm, I brought you together for a reason, okay? And you guys owe it to yourselves to find out why, okay? Whether it's to create a life for together or to have a family together or to share a family together, but they're bringing you together for a reason. And this person is going to love you like no other. And I think that's worth holding on to. I think that's worth figuring out. So let's put this out into the universe. I think you guys are going to overcome the fears. I do. But in the meantime, I want you to stay in the moment and I want you to enjoy what's right in front of you and take that leap of faith and just just be OK. Just be in the moment and, and enjoy the love that Spirit's putting right in front of you. Let's put this out to the universe. I want to thank Spirit for this reading today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you. And if anybody would like to book a private reading with me, please um, check out my website link below. And thank you for your comments. I really appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to um, you joining me more often. And I want you to have a great day. We'll see you soon.